everybody out there. It is the Gunman with my good news of the day. Day 13. Um, man, it's uh, been an incredible ride so far for me and my family as well as I know so many of you out there. Uh, as always, we want to send our love and support to all our health workers that are on the front lines. Hang in there. Um, we all appreciate everything that you're doing. And speaking of which, I've got some really great news that I'm going to share today with Willie the Wonder Dog. Say hello, Willie. Hi, Willie. <laughs> um, okay, convalescent plasma. Let's talk about this. The great news today is that they are now in uh, not only clinical trials, but they're actually effectively using convalescent plasma to treat people with COVID-19. Now, it's not a new concept at all. As a matter of fact, convalescent plasma was first used uh, against diphtheria in 1901, and the results were remarkable. Uh, they also used it during the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918 that not many people talk about, but that was pretty devastating. That took out about a third of the world population. And uh, this is mostly due to the fact that we had no antibiotics at that time, not even penicillin. So that was kind of a drag. We're so much uh, better off now than we were back then. But here's the theory behind convalescent plasma. You take a person who has already recovered from the virus and you extract their blood and then you strip that down to the plasma. And every donation can actually treat three to four COVID-19 patients. So if you're a person that has already had this, you can actually put yourself up to donate blood through the Red Cross and donate your plasma to people who are fighting this. Now, how this is different from a vaccine, apparently. With a vaccine, a vaccine uh, basically injects a version of the pathogen, the virus, into you and lets your own immune system attack that virus. With convalescent plasma, it's very different. You take the, the antibodies from a person whose, or, whose immune system has already gone through that process. So the effect is far more immediate. And what they have found is that, in, in, if, especially if you actually start using convalescent plasma early on with the symptoms before it gets super bad, it actually reduces the severity uh, up to 50%, if not more. And it reduces the length of time somebody actually has to go through the disease by 50% as well. That is huge news. So. On the bad side of things, as I mentioned, the numbers are going to be going up as far as the people who are getting uh, actively diagnosed with COVID-19. We knew that there was going to be that peak and that curve we've been talking about. But as we get to the other side, the back slope of that curve, the great news is uh, all of these people who will have already gone through COVID-19 and recovered from it can then go down and donate their blood. Now you have to type test your blood apparently to make sure that, uh, that your blood is compatible with somebody else. In Matthew, in my case, we're lucky enough to be the universal donors, which is type O negative. So we can theoretically give our blood and our plasma to anybody without type testing. So as soon as testing becomes more readily available, uh, Matthew and I are going to get ourselves tested. And you know, I, it sounds weird to say this, but if in fact we have already been uh, through the disease, we've been asymptomatic, let's say, uh, the good news is we'll be able to go down there and do our part as well in a more meaningful way. Now, you can only donate once every 28 days, as it is right now, but if I do in fact find out that I've already been through this and I can donate my plasma to help the fight, I'm going to personally call our state senator, which is Marsha Blackburn, who's doing an incredible job here in Tennessee, and ask her to ask our president to talk to the FDA to see if they can actually reduce that length of time from 28 days to 14 days between donations because uh, this is a serious thing that we're all going through. And I just thought that you'd want to hear that good news. It's great news. So convalescent plasma is now actively being used from the first patients who have already recovered from COVID-19. And because of all the people that have already been through this and have recovered, we're going to have a, 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 a large supply, hopefully, of giving people out there who want to donate their plasma to help people recover from this deadly disease. So anyways, great news. Just wanted to share it with you. Have a wonderful day. Love from me, love from Nashville, and love from Willie. We'll see you guys.